Okay, here I will show you how to change image dynamically based on certain value. You might have seen this in my World Cup 2014 schedule where you can see flag images are changing in standing table or in knockout stages based on country names. And all of them are done without macros. And I will show you how to do it in simple steps, but at least you need to have some knowledge of Excel function. I try to create it from blank spreadsheet. Okay, what is the first step? The first step is preparing flag image table. I will create 4 times 3 table. 4 times 3, okay. I put black border just to make it easier for you to see uh, the table. The first column will be allocated for flag images. The second column will be allocated for country names and the third column will be allocated for flag image reference. Okay. The next step is you have to resize the rows and the column to make the image fit in one cell. But what size? Okay, before you find the size or resize the row or column, you can try to insert your picture. Here I try to put my picture. Okay, I will start with uh, Portugal. Okay, this is the original size of picture. I will reduce the size into 1.5 inch. Okay, and it will take around three original row size. Okay, so let's select this, go height and change it. Three times is around 43 something, but I think I will put just 42. I think it's enough. Okay, then put drag the image and put in the same okay it's fit now type country name is portugal and what is the reference of the image here the reference is you put the column and the row number it's b2 is it enough? No, we still have to put the worksheet name. What is the worksheet name? Worksheet name is here. You can see it. Sheet 1. So, you put sheet 1. Mark with this to separate with the uh, column and row number. And then, just want to make it look nicer. Okay. See, it do this step three more times to complete this table. What do I say? Germany, USA, 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 Ghana, where is Ghana? Ghana, okay. I'll take picture, I select it and insert it. And change it to 0 0.5. Okay. I will put Ghana here. Germany here. And just another trip. Okay. Just align the first and the last image carefully. Okay image okay and then select all picture okay use shift plus your mouse and then align align I think align right and then distribute it vertically see so all image are aligned okay time country name this is Ghana uh, and USA. Okay, and then retype, uh, type again the cell reference. Since it's all the same, I just drag the formula uh, below. Okay, this is the first step.
the flag image then table is ready what is the second step the second step is preparing the standing table to have image okay assume that you are standing you already have a standing table and i think i just copied from the real standing table where germany in top position put ranking one two three four then the last standing is germany second is usa third is portugal and the last is Ghana. okay let's align here put here where do you want to put flag image next to your country right so i insert additional column here okay. if the standing table is in other place maybe other worksheet or in the same worksheet but different uh, rows you have to adjust this cell to have the same size of the flag image cell here okay you see this is the second step preparing flag image location and the third step is preparing the reference to get the content so you have to create a formula dynamic formula and it's a simple fillup of formula to get uh, the reference of each image germany should have this reference should be three so you can create basic this basically anywhere in the dummy is you don't want people to see the formula or you or maybe you can write in here and just hide it okay but here okay. just a simple fill up formula okay look up you can type in here on type in this window okay fill up germany of course as a lookup value and then here the table array and then two is the index number and false to find the exact match okay sit b3 so I will, since i want to copy this formula below i have to make this fix here just put sign a dollar sign here okay then we copy it below okay see germany seat b3 germany seat 1 b3 okay the image is basically ready so how to get get the image okay before going to there we have to put a name to get the to get this content as, as a cell reference you need a indirect function here but you need it in the name uh, in the name of uh, the formula so in a manager get a new one like one okay okay in reverse two you tap indirect and then refer to this okay so flag one is okay repeat this three times flag two indirect yeah okay flag three indirect okay flag four indirect okay okay now all done Oops. Now the last step is implement this formula to make image content change dynamically. How? Yeah, just go to the B2. Okay, B2. Not don't select the picture. Just go to the cell B2. 
press Ctrl C to copy, and then sell, select this <coughs> sorry edge column, right click, paste special link picture here. Okay, this is done, not yet. You see, this is refer. Sorry, it just moved by accident. This refer to B2, so we have to change this B2 to flag 1. See? The image change. What about if this is Portugal? See? Change. Ghana. Change. So. Germany. Okay. Okay. You can copy this. You can do the same step here. And you don't have just you can copy here. I I select from G1 because it's, it has the same size with the image. Just copy and then here right click and image. But just gives you one, but you can and then change to like two. Tara. Okay. Do this again. Pass special picture. Change to like three. Okay. So all is set here. That, as I mentioned in the beginning, you see there is some. There is a border here being copied. So it doesn't look nice. So that's why. Just remove this border line to make your standing table look more nice. No border. See? Border is gone. And also, you have. Okay. Okay, basically it is finished. Now it's your turn to create this in your own spreadsheet. Thank you for watching my video and good luck.